Okay, so to get the GH3 sprites and textures into Moonscraper, um, first what you want to do when you get Moonscraper is to go into the custom resources and then go into the file names TXT. This has been updated to contain all the um, textures that you need uh, to extract from uh, GH, um, GHTCP, that's the one, from the texture explorer. So that would be game management and texture explorer. Um, so yeah, this is basically pretty much all you need. This X gets replaced with the numbers 0 to 4, um, 0 being the green fret and 4 being the orange fret. Then you've got these ones for the open notes and the same for 0 to 4 for the strike line frets uh, as well as the fret stem which we'll get to in a sec. Um, so if you go to data, zones, global pack and which one is it? Global GFX text. Um, then you'll need to pretty much just go down this list here of what uh, all the textures are. So if we go into the file names, this is the star power, this is a space drum, and this, since I'm in rainbow zones, this is, uh, this would be number f four. Um, so what you're going to do is extract, uh, let's place that somewhere else for now, um, extract, so that would be four, sp strum, um, so it contains 4x4 four four notes of image size, blah blah blah. Um, just save that as the default. This will automatically save it as a, as a DDS file. Uh, this is recommended and Moonscraper will read the DDS files as they now support them as listed here. Um, okay, so once... pretty much you'll just need to go down the list. It might take a while. Um, I have already prepared a series of zones here. So this is uh, what it'll look like. Um, so you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll uh, uh, eleven different textures or eleven different pitches uh, for each of for each of the colors, um, except for the open notes, uh, which you'll only need four um, four of. And then you also need this fret stem as well. Um, that's also uh, hidden away in the texture in the same. It, it's all in the same point of the textures. Uh, in the global GFX, but the um, but um, the next thing is to open up the settings any file, and this is the sustain colors. So this will change the color of the sustains, um, since uh, reading the sprites um, is weird from GH3. I don't know how it's doing it. Um, so yeah, if we go into the one I've already prepared over here, um, this is for Rainbow Zone. So it's just hexadecimal formats. Uh, open note is kept the same color because uh, there's what else are you going to do really? Um, and then this is, uh, so that's R for the first two, G, B, and then Alpha, um, which will just be listed as FF for maximum. Um, if you just put that as zero, zero, if you put the hex as zero, zero, then it won't be red at all, and then it'll just uh, go to the default colors of green, red, yellow, blue, and orange. Um, so if we just copy this custom one over here, that up here and then just copy paste yes and then we can just go over here and open it like that and now we have all the zones in if I just open it up and then, yep and that's all being read correctly and so that's that's pretty much the basics it's basically just going into JHTCP uh, extracting the zones that you need and naming them according uh, according to what they are, so that Moonscraper can read it via the file name. Uh, pretty simple. Rainbow zones uh, themselves, the, the ones I've already got extracted, I will provide a link to in the description, um, so you can just download that straight away. Just copy the folder, just just copy all the pictures just straight in, and then you don't have to do anything. Uh, but if you want to support other, if or if you want uh, different zones, then you'll need to go swap the zones folder as you would normally. Uh, and then extract them from GHTCP um, uh, using the uh, same file names. And yep, 